Hey, what's up, everyone? It's your boy Willie V, aka Boo Boy Kennels of iTexter.com. Today's tutorial, or should I say tip, is making Windows XP look like Mac OS X. Now, I came across this software called FlashKite. Now, this will be my first initial run with it. So you will be seeing things for the first time as I myself am seeing it. Basically what this does, it transforms your XP installation into the Mac OS X look. So let's go ahead and uh, get that started. And we'll go ahead and uh, run through this here installation. And well, I'll go ahead and uh, select everything, software, tweaks, all that good stuff. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, commence with the installation. As I said, this is my first time running running through this as well, which is why I wanted to read uh, certain things and uh, see how they come out. Also, um, from the notes that I read on this particular program, it does allow you to uninstall it as well. So if for any reason there's a problem, you don't like it, you can go ahead and uninstall it. It will do all the tweaks, the modifications, the, the file changes. It'll, it'll actually do all that during the uh, installation process. So I highly recommend, as with any installation, especially when you're doing a system-wide change or modifications to your files, that you first back up all your important data and set a restore point so that way if anything goes haywire you can always revert back to it and not be like oh my god I can't use it all right well it says that it's completed and I'll go ahead and uh, reboot that now and uh, we'll see how this uh, turns out All right, well, we have our uh, typical, for the most part, Windows uh, login screen. And if I can just remember what my password was, that would be great. All right. Now we have uh, quite a bit of things on here, and uh, I'm going to now try these out. See how this this all looks. Let's uh, open up the uh, great the great Internet Explorer. It's kind of funny to think that Internet Explorer would look like this, but you know, it does. Uh, you know, it's not the uh, actual Safari type feel. You know, even though it's trying to mimic it in uh, in many ways. Microsoft's Movie Maker. You know, hey, we, we could always have it look like a HD movie. QuickTime. I know QuickTime is QuickTime installed. No? Oh, okay. Guess it's not installed. I don't have iTunes installed. How could I not have this installed? Oh, that's right. It is a test system. 
All right, Tiger System Preferences. Let's see what this all it has. A, a lot of the similar, similarities are, are very much on point, even though the uh, background doesn't necessarily look like this. But uh, that's something that can definitely be worked around. Let's see what's on here. Click on the Apple logo, and we have, uh, I don't use any of these, so that would be a waste of my time. Well, at least the run command is here. Here we go with all of our applications. Yep, as I said, I do not have QuickTime or iTunes installed, even though it does show the icons in the dock, which is all right, but, you know, I don't, uh, I don't use them. All right. Now, as you can see, it looks like Mac OS X. Anyways. Hope you found this uh, tutorial useful. As a matter of fact, let's go through the uh, uninstallation process and see just how good. Oh, where is it? Oh, I forget where it's at. Oh, control back. Almost forgot. So let's go to the uh, add and removes. And we'll. Uh, Remove this here. Let's select everything. Definitely good to read things. You know, then you can get the whole, the whole uh, tiger look. So let's go ahead and uh, reboot this here in the Apple logo. So there's still one more, one more installation that needs to be removed, and we'll go ahead and uh, remove that one as well to remove the boot screen. So let's go ahead and uh, get that one removed also. Where is it at? Yeah. Let me make sure there's not anything else that I need to remove. All right. Now we're going to uh, restart our installation and let's see if everything reverted back Windows boot screen so it's where it's supposed to be it's a double uninstallation but you know, that's that's perfectly fine it's not too bad and we're back to Windows XP anyways Hope you all like that quick tip, and as always, you know, if you, you know, if you can't get the Mac, hey, you can at least make it look like the Mac, right? Till then, this is uh, Willie V of iTexture.com, and as always, thank you for taking the time to watch.